Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to put together your guest list. Um, so you have just recently been engaged, you are super in love, you're going to be planning your wedding and then bam, you have to make a guest list and it is literally, I feel like one of the worst processes of like planning a wedding. It's the guest list. It is just a burden. It takes time. You feel like guilty or weird about having to like put down family and friends on this list and what if you miss someone or you know um, what if you invite someone who you shouldn't have invited and you're just freaking out right yeah it doesn't have to be that way it can be a really really easy process with um, some simple rules that are a little harsh but I think will help you um, in your process of making a guest list um, so have you and your partner sit down and together write out a list separately. So I mean like sit in the same room together um, just so you can kind of like a focus time, um, but write a list separately. And what I want you to do is I want you to, you know, write out all the people that you want to invite, family and friends, all of them, anyone you can think of like wildly, like just write them all down. And then what I want you to do for friends, I want you to cross off everyone who you haven't spoken to in the last year. Um, and when I mean spoken to, I mean, you know, they haven't kept up with you via text, call, message, anything. You have not heard from this person from the last year. Um, cross them off. Why? Because, you know, weddings are a big deal. And, you know, you are putting all of your time and soul into planning this wonderful day. And you don't wanna invite someone who isn't even you know, willing to shoot you a text or call or vice versa, you're not willing to shoot a text or call, right? And a wedding's a big day. Um, so that might seem harsh and a lot of people would disagree with that, but I think that would get you really far if you just cross off everyone you haven't spoken to in the last year. Next rule. So family members. I say if you haven't spoken to a family member um, in the last five years, or if you've never met this family member before, you should probably go ahead and cross them off your list. Um, again, people are gonna think that's super harsh, but it's in that same vein of if a person doesn't care to keep up with you, then they probably don't care to come to your wedding anyway. Um, and I know that's kind of like a dark or like sad way to look at it, but I don't think it is. I think it's a practical way to look at making a guest list. And you know, with these two rules, um, you're always gonna have exceptions. Okay, there is an aunt that lives in Japan and you haven't seen her in seven years, but you of course are gonna invite her, she's your aunt. Yes, of course, invite your aunt. Um, these are not hard and fast rules. Um, I think they're just a really good guideline to get you started and to get you honestly focused and thinking practical. The next rule that I have, um, I feel like this whole video is really harsh. <laughs> the next one that I have is, would you spend money on this person? So every single person you invite to a wedding isn't just the cost of food. And you know, food can range anywhere from 50 to $200 per person. It's the cost of sending a save the date, the mailing the postage, the um, sending the invite, uh, uh, the dinner, the actual food, um, the physical plate, like you have to pay for plates, um, the linens, like their napkins, that's cost money. Um, the more people you have, the more tables you need, the bigger venue you're gonna have, um, and thank you cards. So every person you invite to your wedding actually ends up costing you like a pretty penny. Um, so if you have someone on your list and you're like, I wouldn't send this person a $20 uh, you gift card for their birthday or a $10 or $5, you know, I don't, would never spend money on this person. Well, why would you spend money on this person on a day that you are gonna be spending a lot of money on this person? So this might be a really harsh way to look at making a guest list, but like I said, I just think it's very, very practical. Because at the end of the day, another super harsh comment, I'm sorry, it's coming out of my mouth. Um, at the end of the day, no one cares about your wedding. Asterisk, except you and your close loved ones. Um, you know, weddings are really awesome for you and your family and friends, but if someone, you know, doesn't know you super well or doesn't 
um, you know, really isn't a real big part of your life, they're probably just gonna be bored or they're gonna be there for the wrong reasons. Um, and you wanna feel surrounded by warmth and love and people that really care about you. And you also wanna look back at your photographs and see that you're surrounded by people that, um, you know, five, 10 years later, you still know and talk to. Enjoy the video? Click here to subscribe and click here to watch the next video. Thanks.